Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video we are talking about Xbox or PlayStation which is better. Before we continue our video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are the respective flagship video game consoles for Sony and Microsoft. Both have helped set company records since their launch in November 2020 and remain difficult to find in stores. But despite similar performance and price tags, the PlayStation 5 has managed to be more popular with shoppers. Sony recently announced that more than 30 million PlayStation 5 consoles have been sold, while Microsoft has reportedly sold about 20 million units between the Xbox Series X and Series S, according to VG Charts. Sony has driven PlayStation 5 sales with blockbuster exclusives like God of War, Ragnarok and Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. Meanwhile, Microsoft continues to add value to the Series X with Xbox Game Pass, its Netflix-style gaming subscription. That said, the Series X lacks must-have exclusives since nearly every new Xbox game is also available on Windows and older Xbox One consoles. Ultimately, each system has its own strengths and weaknesses that might push buyers in one direction or the other. After two years with both consoles and several quality of life updates from Microsoft and Sony, we've broken down what each system does best to help you decide which is right for your needs. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X Performance In head-to-head -head comparisons for newly released games, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X deliver similar performance for graphics and loading times. In terms of hardware, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 improve on previous consoles with new solid-state drives and enhanced processors. And installing games takes significantly less time, too. The new graphics processors are capable of ray tracing, an advanced lighting feature first introduced for PC games. Ray tracing gives games on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series consoles more realistic reflections and lighting based on the in-game environment, creating visuals that are too demanding for older machines. PlayStation 5 vs Xbox Series X Design For the most part, whether you like the console's design comes down to personal preference. But my personal preference is that I cannot stand how the PlayStation 5 looks. Not only is the system comically large, it's also a pain to switch from vertical to horizontal configuration, and the standard version sports an ugly asymmetrical design. The front panel is prone to fingerprints. The power and disc eject buttons are indistinguishable. It's rare that I recommend you hold off on a console purchase simply to wait for the prettier redesign, but you should very strongly consider doing that with the PlayStation 5. The only big advantage the PlayStation 5 has over the Xbox Series X is the presence of a USB-C port, which is a big deal, especially as more accessories get USB-C adapters. But even if the Xbox Series X design is much more conservative, it's also much more sensible overall. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X Games Microsoft has taken a more inclusive approach with games on Xbox platforms. New Xbox originals, like Halo Infinite and Forza Horizon 5, are still designed to work on older Xbox One consoles and Windows PCs. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X have fundamentally different approaches to game libraries. The Xbox Series X assumes you'll pick up the same games you left off on the Xbox One, and will want optimized performance across the board for all favorites. The PlayStation 5, on the other hand, has a bevy of exclusive titles that launched alongside its new console. These games still perform at high levels on the Series X, but there are compromises in design that make them feel less advanced when compared to PlayStation 5's top offerings that have been built specifically with the console's strengths in mind. Gaming and Media As media players, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X both offer a robust set of features, but the Xbox's adoption of Dolby Vision HER and Dolby Atmos sound formats make it slightly more appealing as a streaming device. Xbox offers movies and TV shows for sale via the Microsoft Store, while the PlayStation Store discontinued movie purchases in August 2021. Xbox has also been quicker to adopt new apps and services, like the recently added option to join Discord voice chats directly from the console. However, 
While the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are similar in terms of quality and performance, the PlayStation 5's exclusive games and gameplay-focused features make it more enticing for buyers. PlayStation 5 v's Xbox Series X – Cloud Gaming Cloud gaming isn't a huge issue for either the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X, since you can simply download games and play them natively on either platform. But as cloud gaming grows over the next few years, it's good to know where each company stands at the outset of this console generation. The PlayStation 5 has the PlayStation Plus revamp. It costs $10 per month for a tier that includes streaming capabilities. PlayStation 5 vs Xbox Series X Price Both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X cost $500 apiece. Since the two systems are very similar, this category would seem to be a tie at first glance. However, the standard PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are not the only variants available. There's also the $400 PlayStation 5 Digital Edition and the $300 Xbox Series S. The PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition are identical, save for a 4K Blu-ray physical disc drive in the former. The latter has no disc drive, as the name suggests. On the other hand, the Xbox Series S has significantly different hardware from the Xbox Series X. A less powerful GPU, a smaller SSD, less RAM, and so forth. Which one is better? Ultimately, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X amid the ongoing supply shortage, you won't be disappointed. Both systems offer awesome exclusives and an impressive upgrade over the last generation of consoles. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed our video. For more videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more interesting videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.